the Adidas Boston 10 and the Takumi Sen 8, both vastly different to their predecessors. Today I'm going to delve into Adidas's strange naming convention changes in 2021. <laughs> Hey cats, it's Ed, Energy Rod Bud here. Today we're going to dive a little deeper into Adidas's strange naming convention changes within their lineup in 2021. We've got an Adios 6 that's more like a Boston 10, and now the Adios 6 is in fact a lower stack than the Takumi Sen 8, but where does that leave the new Boston 10? Confused? I certainly am. Let's try and unravel and unfurl the mystery. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, but also click the bell below for notifications when we launch those new videos for you. And it helps us out a whole bunch if you give this video a thumbs up like and also share it with your running buddies. Mucho gracias. So after looking at some new close-up pictures of the Adi Zero Takumi Sen 8, it's a mishmash of pretty much every idea that Adidas have had this year. They've just thrown it all into one shoe. Every single thing, the whole kitchen sink. In fact, the heel section in the Takumi Sen 8 looks a little bit like that of the Prime X. Very, very similar, I think you'll agree. You've got that sling-like portion going on diagonally in the heel. Suede hit, hit, hits in the upper. As per the Adios 6 and the Boston 10. It's probably my fave part of this shoe. A full Light Strike Pro midsole this time around though. They're not messing about, almost gratuitous in its use here in the Takumi Sen 8. Inevitably, that's going to lower the weight of the shoe quite a bit. I think that was one of the bugbears that people had about the Adios 6, was just a little bit too heavy for them. The rods feature prominently here, though. I mean, everybody loves energy rods, right? Look at those rods. We've got those cutouts in the foam segments as well that we've seen on the Prime X and the Adios Pro 2 and the Boston 10. I think all the changes between the Takumi Sen 7 and the new 8 will cause maximum comments from some runners that really preferred the race flat style features of the originals. I mean, I don't think you can really say the Takumi Sen 8 is a traditional shoe now. The rods are those red variants. I wonder if that means they're sort of like glass fibre rather than this carbon fibre stuff. I think the Boston 10 rods were glass fibre apparently. Didn't seem to make the shoe any lighter. I see this shoe absolutely a surefire competition to Nike Street Fly. And I think it looks set to launch before that shoe as well. We might see this one before the end of 2021. Certainly a viable alternative to the Zoom Fly 4, the Saucony Endorphin Speed 2, probably the Rocket X and many others as well. The drop and stack seems dictated a little bit this time round by the introduction of those energy rods into the mid to four foot section of the midsole. I can't help but see this shoe as a minimized version of the Adi Zero Adios Pro 2. Even the top of the midsole there, that profile seems very similar to that shoe, almost surgically removed in fact from the Adios Pro 2. One part of the shoe that really doesn't make any sense to me at all though is that lateral cutout towards the little toes on your foot. Why is it there on that outer edge of the shoe? Let's take part of the shoe that can break or snap really easily and expose it to the whole world. I, I just don't get it. Why? Continental outsole rubber on the bottom of the shoe. Now, if we pair this one up with some of the other shoes that we've seen in the Adidas lineup this year, how does it look? Well, certainly vastly lighter than the Boston 10. That had a very bulky upper with layers of material that wrap around the foot. That one weighed in over 350 grams in my UK 11 and a half. It's like 12.4 ounces or something. Not really sure where Adidas were going with this one. And when you compare the minuscule weight of that forthcoming Takumi Sen 8 with this, there's just no comparison. Especially when you compare this shoe with the previous version of the Boston. I think that one was about 280 grams in my UK 11 and a half. So that's a good 70 grams heavier, 70 grams. That makes the Takumi Sen 8 actually look very similar to its predecessor. I think the last two Takumi Sen models were about 220 grams in my UK size 11 and a half. That's about 7.7 .7 ounces. So very close to what we're gonna get in this new one. Adidas themselves reckon the sample size, which is normally a UK 8, is to be sub seven ounces. So I think it's gonna be relatively similar in terms of weight to what we've seen before. Of course, this one's intended to be a 5K to 10K king. I mean, parts of the upper here actually look directly ported from the Takumi Sen 7. There's definitely some similarities here in the previous version. Although I think the underfoot feel is gonna be drastically different. If you've run in this shoe, you'll know what I'm talking about. You've got some boost in the forefoot there to provide a bit of cushion. 
but the light strikes pretty tough in fact since i took this one out of the box it's asked me for a fight twice <laughs> do take note guys as well that this shoe is very narrow is the takumi sen 8 going to be of similar ilk i think the takumi sen 8 is going in the right direction rather than the boston 10 just become a very clunky shoe is it a daily shoe is it a long run shoe i think it's a bit of a misfire or is it simply an excuse to shoehorn those energy rods into another model just looking at the midsole stacks between the Adios 6 and the Takumi Sen 8, they reckon there's 33 millimeters of heel stack in the Takumi Sen 8 with a six millimeter drop. That makes the Adios 6 a lower stack height than the Takumi Sen 8. So where does this leave the Adios 6? I think it's clearly down to the fact that they've introduced those energy rods into the Takumi Sen lineup. Let's not forget here that more compressive foams are what give you the efficiency, it's not the carbon elements. So they're putting that into the shoe and the stack height's increasing to accommodate it. As such, does that make the Adios 6 the true successor? to the Takumi Sen 7. Are you confused yet? I can't help but think that the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel 2 is actually going to be the closest thing to the Takumi Sen 8. I think it's going to end up being the comparison contender for that one. Knowing the feel of Light Strike Pro after many miles run in the other shoes, I think that that will be a good comparison between those two. Very similar underfoot feel in those foams. I think I need a lie down after all this. I'm just really perplexed. I don't think I've solved any of the problems. The riddle is still unsolved. Are you dismayed by the introduction of these energy rods and higher stack shoes in some of the Adidas lineup? A total restructure of their whole running shoe setup. Certainly gonna confuse people, I think, when these shoes come out. Perhaps people that are keen on the Adios model, they're gonna be a bit perplexed when they get the six. And those that have loved running in the Takumi Sen, I think the eight's gonna be something altogether different. It's gonna confuse many runners who are familiar with the previous models. What do you make of all this, guys? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. Today's musical interlude comes courtesy of The Monks with their incredible album, Black Monk Time. Now, if the idea of five American GIs with monk haircuts, nooses for neckties, and some of the most bizarre music that you've ever heard is intriguing to you go and check out these guys i'll put a link in the description to a youtube video which is possibly one of the greatest things i've ever seen i didn't realize you could get tambourines that were that big the album kicks off with monk time which is kind of like a rallying call it explains who the monks are and what they're up to higgledy piggledy is a favorite of mine banjo smashing rhythmic noise of joy then there's the distorted fuzz bass line of i hate you that's my girl is a fantastic track as well where the singer realizes that actually his best friend's gone off with his girl but he only realizes towards the end of the track you have a wonderful concoction here of drums simple bass lines distorted guitars percussive banjo hits and wild vocals go and check them out guys the monks with black monk time i don't think you'll be disappointed you'll at least get a good laugh out of it anyway thanking you tar for sticking with me to the end of today's video always appreciated you can do four things to help the channel out here they are hit that subscribe button click the bell below for notifications when we launch the new videos Give this video a thumbs up like, but also share it with your running buddies. My name is Ed Budd, and I'll be seeing you.